a tinker at heart. I'm a mechanical engineer and machinist. So as a machinist, you can make the parts you need. You can make the tools you need to make the parts you need. I've got enough equipment here in the shop that I can make anything that I can imagine. 21 airplanes from scratch to flight test and 100% success rate. That's not bad. We hope to keep it that way. <laughs> Robert clearly knows airplanes, but I want to push him a little bit to see what he can build in just two days. I don't know what we're going to make, but I know it's going to fly. This is a, a unit that I designed back in the late 90s. It's called a paracycle. That's good, because uh, it doesn't have any wings. No, no wings. <laughs> this is a powered parachute unit. This is something I just dreamed up one day. I love creating something new that's never been done before. It's just ingrained in me. To build something like this from nothing and go fly it is just awesome. It's just one of the best feelings you'll ever have. You do realize how this show works. See, I show up and I look at all your stuff, okay. and then I challenge you to build something. Oh, we can't build an airplane in two days. No, nah, I don't think we could do it that quick, but we could certainly make some modifications to one, do something that we haven't done in the past, you know? Okay. Well, we're gonna have to think about this. Okay. What's that? That's an ultralight that I built back in the late 80s. It's a two-seater. It's designed for training purposes. Uh, if you'd like to go for a ride, I'll teach you to fly the aircraft. I'll let you fly it. Yes, yes. I'm gonna get to fly something. <laughs> I'm gonna fly in something this guy made up in his head and built in his garage. Initially, it started as a wrecked project that I, I took and, and rebuilt, turned it into a, a flying machine. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. So I see the plane move, and I see the rudder move, and I see the stick move, and then his hands leave, and I've got the stick, and I'm controlling it. All right, he's not using his hands. This isn't fair anymore. And I can't hear him, and he doesn't know, and I'm trying to talk to him, and he can't hear me, and all of a sudden, I'm flying an aircraft. I couldn't hear the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> 